say that your first grown-up proper hula hoop has arrived and you're ready for your first beginner workout because you ripped the packaging off and you're ready for all that beautiful magic that this hula hoop can do to your body. Let's go! But if you're not yet sure what kind of hula hoop you need or how to even keep it up yet, hold your horses. This is not your video. What you need is the one in the description because that will help you with all that. We live in a tip. Why not? Because my daughter and the dog, they just leave everything around. So the warm up for me usually is cleaning up the rubbish and making some space. So make a bit of space for you and then you're ready. Hooping habit tutorial number one. Are you ready? Excited? Hello! Grab your precious hula hoop and let's start spinning. So we're already warming up. Already at the start I would like to point out that your hoop may look wonky and your moves may look a bit wild and crazy and a little bit more aggressive than mine and that's not a problem. Relax and let's start learning like how to even push a hula hoop. I get asked if there's a correct way. What I would like you to try is to move side to side. Shake or swing those hips side to side and it does help if your feet are about shoulder width apart. No strict rules, we're just trying to shake side to side and we're experimenting what it feels like. And next we try to move front and back. To be able to move front and back effectively it helps if we have one leg in the front and one in the back like so, so you can move with better range of motion. Feels okay? Doable? Next, we try another thing. We are going to try going in a circle. See if you can draw some small circles, same way as your hoop is going, round and round with your hips, and just sort your feet out, whatever is most comfortable. Is it staying up at all? Is it doable? Do you have a preference? Which one feels like it's correct? Well, they are all correct. The more you hula hoop and the more skilled you become, you will learn that it actually depends on where your feet are, how you have your legs, what kind of move you're trying to do and where the hula hoop is spinning on you. So relax, they are all correct and you're not doing it wrong whichever way you like doing it. And I mentioned where the hoop is spinning, where? Where else? Well, let's try the hips. Hip hooping, here we go. Let's make that hoop travel on your body. So it will go down. Once it reaches the hips, we will wiggle it back up around the waist and we will make it go up and down. Try and slow down your movement and that should make it just go down nice and easy, right? Have you ever noticed that if you're not moving fast enough it goes down? At this point it helps if you learn about range of motion. How do you have more range? If your knees are bent, so you drop your hips like so, it almost instantly gives you a power wiggle, a superpower, so you can shake and swing those hips wildly and that will make the hoop come back up again, <laughs> sooner or later anyway. So let's make it a proper move. We actually call this the tease. One repetition of tease is letting it go down and then wiggling it up. That's a tease. You just need to concentrate where is that hoop traveling and where you want it to go. Slow down a little bit. Soon you will feel it touching the hips. At that point you will need to activate your power wiggle. If you start the wiggle a bit too late when the hoop goes a bit lower than your hips your hoop may go down but that's okay you just try again that's how we learn right? Closing your eyes may help I'm not sure but you don't actually need to watch your hoop for it to spin or go up and down and you can feel more if you shut out all the visual information but if it doesn't work for you ignore me. For some it works for some it doesn't just try. To tame your hips a little, let's try and keep the hoop down there on the hips. I have my legs apart, which helps a bit. You feel free to experiment what feels best. When the hoop is on the hips, I like to move side to side. No need to stress really, your only job for now is you focus on your hips, you try and feel them as much as possible, feel those muscles, feel the massage that you're receiving. And if it stays up, just appreciate your body because this is a new sensation. You don't normally do this during the day, I suppose. And it takes time for these muscles, front, back, everywhere in your core, to develop this intelligence and also flexibility for this move to feel easy. 
I love to ask beginners to palpate the muscles so that you can feel that these muscles are actually working very hard. And it's not just that they are contracting, but there are neuro pathways, new connections being formed because while you're trying to keep up your hula hoop, you're concentrating on this area and giving it a new skill. Let's tease the hoop so we make it go up and down and the more you practice this you may notice that the less concentration it will take the more effortless it will feel and it will become almost second nature whatever it is that you have to concentrate on and really pay attention and feels like a lot of effort when you start soon will feel like you've been doing this all your life and it's easy if it is challenging at the moment, just praise the universe because as long as it's a struggle, your body is working super hard, you're using huge amounts of energy, that will get you into a better shape if that's one of your goals. And it also mobilizes your hips, you're experiencing ranges of motion that normally you don't really use. It is possible that you get bruises though especially where it's the hoop hitting bony areas. I'm not sure how bony you are, but if you are, it will look a bit different for a few days, but that's okay. <laughs> it is actually your connective tissue getting stronger. This stimulation boosts the circulation of your connective tissue and gets it firmer. And connective tissue is basically tissue that maintains the form of the body and its organs. It provides cohesion and support. And it includes bones, ligaments, tendons, cartilage, even adipose tissue and aponeurosis. With sedentary lifestyle, we have very soft and comfortable connective tissue that's not very firm and it doesn't really look great. But with hooping, this is going to change. Your hoop is going to keep this tissue challenged so it will have to become firmer. Basically, you're getting a massage while you're working out. What a bargain, right? If it's comfortable, please keep your hoop on your hips for a bit. And next, what we do is we shall try and move the arms. There's no rules. Just try and see if you're able to keep your hoop spinning around your hips while you're palpating muscles or just shaking your arms happily wherever you feel like. It's a simple little test, just so that you can see if you can multitask, if, if you can keep a hoop on the hips and move the arms at the same time. Is it working? Next, we're going to try and bring the hoop up on the waist. While we shall try and keep it there, we're going to move one leg forward and we're going to be pushing front and back. It's never wrong to go side to side, around circles or front and back, but it's good to be familiar with it all so that it feels easy, it feels familiar. With one leg forward, if you notice the legs, the knees are soft, and it's just the gentle rocking motion from the lower body that keeps the hula hoop spinning. Most people think that hooping is an abdominal workout. Well, your abs are contracted, of course they are, but it is the movement from your lower body that is keeping the hula hoop spinning around you. So if you wanted toned and firm peachy bottoms, here you go. And you can increase the distance between your legs. That way you're making this into a dynamic stretch. Feel the side where your leg is thrown to the back. Can you notice the hip flexors, the iliopsoas, the quadriceps? They are getting stretched out with gentle rocking movement. So you're getting more flexible and activating your glutes. And you can give it some oomph, some more power. Can you push a little harder into it? Although most people just like to stand and just comfortably keep the hoop up and think that's enough to just keep it upright. But actually you can push yourself. You can push harder into the hula hoop and you can make it speed up a little more. In in future conditioning workouts, I will keep reminding you to, if you can, increase the intensity by pushing harder into your hula hoop, not just as much as you must to keep it going. Anyway, so now let's try exactly the same but on the other side. So we move the other leg towards the front and we still just keep pushing front and back. This is a wonderful opportunity to notice any discrepancies, if there's any difference between the sides. Is this easier or harder? Harder. Just notice it, there's no job for you to do with this at the moment. Later on, when we will be learning unilateral moves, we will even it out effortlessly in a playful way. Also, notice the spine. Do you ever move your spine this much? Because of lack of movement, usually our intervertebral discs are actually quite deprived of juices and they tend to seize up as we age, we lose our mobility. 
People like to say that they lose their flexibility because they are getting old, but actually they are losing their flexibility because they are not moving. Now you're strengthening the muscles in the back, which is the erector spinae group. And maybe all you wanted in the first place was a six pack, but you will have better posture. Your movements will start to glide more effortlessly too, because you are stimulating the synovial fluid in your body very gently and motion is lotion. Like a mechanic, you're now applying lubrication to your joints. Excited? Then push a little bit harder. Show me how excited you are about how fit you're getting, how flexible you will be, how lubricated you're going to feel, how amazing your posture shall become, and you're getting a firming, turning massage at the same time. What a bargain, seriously. We can also stimulate your parasympathetic nervous system. We can start rocking out to the side. And then we go back to where we came from. After that we will rock to the other side. Nice and slowly take your time, no rush. And then back to where we came from. And then we can keep going side, back to the center, other side, back to the center, side again. You really now have to start feeling your hoop and feeling your body. Concentrate on yourself. Can you feel it touching? Can you feel the contact point where your hoop is touching on the side? You're having to push into the contact point. I wish I could slow you down in real life, but you need to focus. Don't go too fast because when you're very fast, it's hard to feel. You just want to feel where it's touching and you move towards that side where it's touching. And your feet are actually not that much important. People like to worry about feet and they want to see what I'm doing with my feet. Well, I can give you some feet. Here you go, you can see it on the screen. But it's actually really overwhelming, I think, for a beginner to focus on touching, where it's touching, where you're going, what you're doing, where the hoop is spinning, what your feet are doing. So you just focus on the feeling. That's my preference, that you want to start learning to feel your body a lot better. Where attention goes, energy flows, and I would like your attention now to be directed to where the hoop is spinning at the moment. Please connect with your core and feel what is happening and where everything is touching. When you feel like you've figured it all out, you can feel it, then I would like to try and push you a little by asking you to do gentle mini squats. So you just do a dip in the middle. No need to go too deep, just drop your hips down low. So from the top you drop down, then you come back up again, drop down and come back up again. It's a rocking mini squat. What this does, it helps you get started moving up and down as well as side to side while you're also spinning a hula hoop. Seriously, you are developing some superhuman and supernatural powers. And sure, you are getting shredded at the same time, but, but we're also fine-tuning your body, improving your coordination. Can I push you a bit more? How about step touching? So we move the feet together and then slowly apart and then to the other side we go. And we keep going side to side and you don't have to lift your foot up high, you can just slide it. Of course, if you're confident, you can just move faster, you can lift your feet up a bit more move your arms about and just look happy and relaxed. Of course, we start off with the basics, the easiest things to do, but we add tiny little bits of extra details so that we improve your ability to multitask, do many things all at once while you spin your hoop. Does your hoop fall down if you move your arms a bit more? See if you can elevate it a little bit more. There's no rules. I just want you to start breaking down tension, generate a bit more heat and just train your brain so it can cope with all these many different jobs. Is it feeling easy and doable? Next, we're going to try and turn around. But it matters how. Hold your horses. How? I need you to check your hoop. Look which way it's spinning, because with your whole body, you will need to be turning exactly the same way as your hoop is going. No rush, you can take your time. You can just take baby steps and go nice and slowly. Again, I showed you feet if you want to see feet, but I wouldn't worry about details like that. I would just want to keep that thing spinning around me. That's enough, but you can speed it up. Turn slow and see what that feels like, if it's okay, if it's staying up, and when that's easy, spin fast. Do you have a preference? Any feels better? All right, gorgeous. So let's do a quick recap. So, so far, we've covered the following moves. 
We started off with the T's and that is a recovery move also. So if your hoop wants to go down, you just wiggle it up, shake and swing those hips vigorously and your hoop is going to come up. And when you slow down, your hoop is going to go down and you play with that hoop, make it go up and down. You can practice with your feet apart or with your feet together and choose whichever you like because you cannot do it wrong. Focus on your hips, make good friends. Next, we just keep it down on the hips. If you're not feeling too bruised up again, you can check if your feet apart or feet together feel better. Next, we let the hoop spin around the waist and we are rocking side to side. And rocking is great for the parasympathetic nervous system. It helps you calm down. Were you feeling stressed at all? I hope I didn't stress you out. Relax and just focus on the contact points. Feel where the hoop is touching and you push into the contact point when you're ready to move. And in the center, if you like, you can add a mini squat. Next we shall step touch, so we are going to move to the side. If you want to see feet, I show you feet, but there's no need to worry too much. You go for whatever distance that feels doable at the moment and later on when it feels so easy you can increase it. If you're ready for it, move your arms about and just look relaxed and happy. Oh, I just wish I could see you. Next we turn around, so again we identify which way your hula hoop is going, if you're clockwise or counterclockwise, because you prepare, no matter the pace, you can go fast or slow. I show you feet again, we shall start turning around. If all the turning around makes you feel a little bit dizzy, that's normal. Most grown-ups experience this when they start hooping and there's lots of turning around. Why is that so? Well, we get dizzy easily or feel disoriented because of structures in the inner ear. There's these structures called the semicircular canals and in there there's actually lots of liquid and little follicles, hair-like structures, which move as you move also because that liquid in there makes them move about as you move around in space. But at about the age of puberty, the viscosity of this liquid actually changes. So we don't just become more rebellious and hairier, but also it will be easier to get us dizzier and disoriented. And as we age, we move less and we stimulate these hair follicles a lot less. But with more stimulation, you trigger adaptation and that will help to reduce how disoriented you get, which means that you will not get so dizzy later on. That's what I'm trying to say. Anyways, let's just spin that hula hoop so it doesn't stress you out and you don't have to concentrate too much. This was your first tutorial. How are you feeling? Are you grateful and feeling that the universe loves you? You have a new toy and it's staying up and you can do funky new things with it? Prepare gorgeous that all this wiggling about is going to wake up the beast within and yeah, this extra circulation will not go unnoticed. Just prepare that you may be a bit more passionate than you usually are. <laughs> Another thing to get excited about is the life cycle of cells. Because there might be cells on your body, let's say skin cells or whatever, that you don't like at the moment. But, you know, they die and they get replaced. And how exciting it is that now you have new habits, you're going to create completely new kind of cells. With new circulation, hopefully less deprivation, just feel pumped, feel excited, the future is bright. All this anatomy and physiology I've sprinkled in there so that you understand your body more, you appreciate it more, your relationship with it changes completely. This new hooping chapter of yours is bringing you rewards beyond your imagination. Mwah! 
sending you lots of love, no matter how many times that we've dropped, well done, here's a trophy. You're amazing and you can repeat this workout as many times as you feel that you need it. After every tutorial, there's always a conditioning session so that these skills will be haunting you. You will have the chance to practice and solidify these skills and moves. If you have the time and energy, you are welcome to conquer the conditioning session. Did you have fun, gorgeous? Are you in love with your hula hooping? Are you ready for some more? If you're interested in the conditioning workout, then for absolutely no charge, completely free, you find it on my website. Follow the link in the description and claim it. Rock it! Hula hoop!